All right, good day, folks. Here we go, uh, moving on to example number three here. I've kind of put our little uh, properties right here, just in case that we would use those during these next uh, few examples. And so, like, here we go. <clears throat> so very similar to, to example one and two. Uh, we're going to go ahead, in order to solve for x right here, we're going to want to go ahead and uh, take the log of both sides. All right, so, so let's go ahead and do that right there. And uh, the reason why that we do that is, is so that we can have common logs on, on both sides. So we're going to have a log of 3 to the negative x plus 5 is equal to log of 8. Okay. So uh, now we're going to go to use our power rule right here. And we're going to move the negative x plus 5. We're going to move that down, right? So it's just like taking this r right here, our exponent. And we can move that in front of the log there. So now we'll take that guy. So negative x plus 5, and that's the entire thing, and that's multiplied now by log of 3 is equal to log of 8. Great. So since we have a, a product here, the way that we can move this bad boy to the right side is we do the opposite operation of multiplying by log of 3. So we're going to divide both sides by log of 3. Sweet. So that guy's got what the and so now we have left on the left side, negative x plus 5 is equal to uh, log of 8 all over uh, log of 3. And we're left with just a few short steps here to finish off our problem. Let's go ahead and subtract 5 from both sides so we can get rid of uh, <clears throat> that guy. So now we have negative x is equal to uh, negative 5 plus log of 8 all over log of 3. And I just thought it would be easier to put the negative 5 here in the front, but you could do it just like this. And I'm going to go ahead and divide, or actually, um, I think I'll just uh, say that I'm going to multiply by negative 1. I think that may look a little uh, cleaner there. So I'm going to multiply the, the left side by negative 1 and the right side by negative 1. All right. And so when we do that, then we have x equals 2. So negative 1 times negative 5 is a positive 5. Negative 1 times a positive is, is not going to make that negative. So now it's negative log of 8 all over log of 3. Pretty hairy number right there. And of course, uh, that is the exact answer. But if you wanted to get an approximate, you can use your graphing calculator and do that guy. And that approximate answer would give you a 5.6, uh, let's see. 5.635, doing that on the calculator, make sure, yes. And there we go.